Sangulani Maxwell Chikumbuzo, a purported inventor, gained attention in 2015 for his Sayeth electric car, which claimed to challenge the law of energy conservation by generating its own energy. The car, capable of reaching 90 chem, was said to power itself and even feed energy homes when parked. However, since then, there has been limited information about Chikumbuzo's inventions and activities. In June 2017, Chikumbuzo announced that he had closed his business in Zimbabwe and relocated to California, United States, with the support of the Trump administration. The move raised questions about what the U.S. government saw in his physics, defying claims that others, including governments and investors in Africa, did not, notably California, where Chikumbuzo established Sayath Holdings Sayath Holdings Sa. Headquarters is also the manufacturing hub for Tesla electric vehicles. Curiously, there is a lack of information about Chikumbuzo's current whereabouts and the activities of Sayeth Holdings in the United States. The company's website, while showcasing other inventions, remains silent on the move and provides no updates on Chikumbuzo's work in the U.S. Additionally, the 2017 article mentions a design feature in the car's energy-producing component that would self-destruct if manipulated or reverse. Engineered, adding an air of mystery. Questions arise about the absence of reported sightings or updates on Chikumbuzo, the Sayeth electric car, and other claimed free energy inventions since the announcement. It remains unclear why the inventor seems to have vanished from public view and why there is a lack of information regarding the progress or setbacks of his projects in the United States. As these intriguing aspects raise eyebrows, the quest for answers intensifies. Where is Maxwell Chikumbuzo, and what has become of his revolutionary inventions since his move to California? The mystery deepens, leaving many to wonder if the promises of perpetual energy and groundbreaking technologies are genuine or part of an elaborate hoax.